My greatest dream for America is that we would come to embrace our growing racial and ethnic and religious diversity as our superpower, as one of our greatest strengths, and not as a weakness. My greatest dream for the United States is for us to have a healthy, vibrant democracy. My dream is to live in a country where we've had an honest reckoning with the racial history of our past and how that has contributed to many disparities. That this country can connect and can create together a social fabric in which we are in real dialogue with one another, engaging, listening across the supposed divides. Always keep in mind, first and foremost, those in our society that are the least privileged. My dream for America is that we'll commit ourselves to creating and sustaining the political, economic, and moral conditions that allow human beings, every human being, to flourish. I think my greatest fear for the country is, is our own fear. That is, we try to balance hope and caution in pursuit of human flourishing that we start drawing lines around who can flourish. Leaders across the board struggle with what it means to be in service to our society. My fears are that we as a country will continue to do business as if all is normal. My greatest fear for this country is that we have lost what it means to actually feel safe with one another. My greatest fear for our country is that we will continue to become further divided. But I hold out a tremendous amount of hope that we can reverse that and really start to come back together. When we all decide to join the good fight, when we reach up and bend the arc of the moral universe towards justice, we can accomplish extraordinary things. What gives me hope for our democracy is to see spaces like the space that we're creating here at the Civil Society Fellowship, a place where people from diverse backgrounds and experiences and ideological differences are coming together to ask hard questions and to not shy away from that space, to really bring our full selves and challenge notions that we might hold or others might hold, and to do it in a way that's respectful and full of love and 